Bluff, Utah is a great launching point for Valley of the Gods. There you can find food, water, gas, and restroom facilities. Make sure you have everything you need before you begin the loop. There's no cell phone signal there, so it's a long walk for help. From Bluff, Utah, take US-163 15 miles to a series of concrete barriers along a curve. The entrance to the road is on the right at the end of the barrier. There is a small seasonal creek to drive through once you get past the cow guard. The road surface is graded gravel and clay. The road can be difficult or even impassable when wet. Plan on spending about two hours traveling the loop. Valley of the Gods is a 17-mile dirt road that winds through some beautiful rock formations. Some describe it as a smaller version of Monument Valley. We encountered very few vehicles on the road, but we did see a person running. They had water bottles hanging from them, so they seemed prepared. In my opinion, this is no place to get in a morning run. Suddenly, I was transported back to the Old West. It was like I was driving a stagecoach to some remote outpost with Andy Devine riding shotgun. At any time, I expected to see Ned Pepper, Billy the Kid, or Liberty Valance. Cochise and his warriors could be around any bend. Where was Matt Dillon when you needed him, or the Calvary to give me an escort? I thought I heard someone say, that's bold talk for a one-eyed fat man. Now, how did Rooster Cogburn respond to that? Fill your hands, you son of a biscuit eater. Or something like that. I caught myself saying, Liberty Valance is the toughest man south of the picket wire, next to me. All right, enough of the old westerns. Let's enjoy the rest of the ride.
At the end of the loop, we were back on good roads and rode off into the sunset. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe, Pilgrim.